Welcome to Smaravel's Country Bakery. Thank you for joining us. Today we're going to be making one of our uh, breakfast coffee cakes. It's my mom's uh, favorite coffee cake she always made for brunch or breakfast on holidays and such. Uh, it's a sour cream coffee cake. We're going to be using uh, butter. We've got uh, eight ounces or a cup of butter. And we've got a cup of sugar. We're going to add that in. And then we're going to cream that. Get that going here. Butter is room temperature already softened. And it kind of helps the process get started, help the cream a little faster. Typically, you want to cream it for about, uh, you know, maybe about seven, seven to 10 minutes. Cream it long enough so you kind of get that sugar broken down and mixed in well with the butter. While that's mixing, we're gonna do, we're gonna add three eggs. We're gonna add one egg at a time. Now, if you want, you can drop the egg right into the bowl, but if you're not confident about the eggshells. Get one in there. You really wanna give the the butter and the sugar an opportunity to mix in and get incorporated before you add the next before you add the next egg. We're going to be baking this at 350 degrees, so you want to preset your oven to 350 degrees. It's going to be going in a 9 by 13 pan. You can use a Pyrex dish or a metal pan. That's fine. Spray it. Uh, don't have to flour it, but if you want or you're used to that, that's fine. Like I mentioned before, it's a real easy uh, coffee cake to make. And um, the neat thing about recipes like this is they kind of come through tradition-wise with the family. But you can start your own traditions, finding recipes like this, or uh, just find yourself a nice uh, church cookbook or maybe go spend some time with your mom or your favorite aunt and uh, have them teach you that recipe. So we have our cup of sugar, we have a cup of butter, we've got our eggs in there. We got this mixing up really good. Now we're gonna add, we get that mix a little more. Don't wanna rush it. I'll make sure it mixes in well. Let's slow the mixer down here a little bit. Okay, now we're going to add our sour cream and our teaspoon of vanilla. Now I'm sure there are shortcuts or healthier versions or whatever to this recipe. Um, uh, that'll be up for somebody else to figure out what they are. I just know this one. And we've got our sour cream in there and our vanilla. We're going to turn it back up. There we go. Now, in this bowl, we have our uh, sifted cake flour. We have two teaspoons of baking powder, a teaspoon of baking soda, and a half a teaspoon of salt. We're going to work this in a little at a time. Now it is a cake batter, but you're going to see when it's done, it's almost the consistency of a, of a muffin batter. Kind of work it in about two or three stages. If you work it in too fast, sometimes it'll have a tendency to lump. And that looks good right about there. My mom would say, don't over mix it. Don't need to. All right. So there we have it. Looks kind of almost like a, like a banana nut bread batter. off here. If you've got kids around, leave enough on there for them to lick it off. 
If you got more than one, then you got to leave enough on the bowl, leave enough on the spatula. Okay, there we go. Now, we got it in, and now this is up to you. Got to kind of eyeball it. You're going to put half the batter down. Make sure you got it all mixed up at the bottom. Now, this is kind of the tricky thing. If you put too much in the pan the first time, now this is a quarter sheet foil pan. You can use, a, like I mentioned, the 13 by 9. This is going to work well because this is what I've got right now. If you put too much in the first time, it's really going to be a challenge to cover it. All right. So there we have. We got about half of that down. Now, in a separate bowl, through the magic of television, we had a two teaspoons cinnamon, three quarters cup brown sugar, and a half cup of raisins, and a half cup of nuts. Now you're going to take half of this mixture. I use golden raisins. Use dark raisins. You can use prunes if you want. You can use apples. I don't know if anyone's going to use prunes, but why not? So you're going to put half of this mixture in. You can measure it if you want. I'm just going to go with that because that looks like half. So there you go. Now for the last part, we're going to take the rest of this. I'm just going to drop a little bit here, a little bit there, and you're going to see why I'm doing this. All right. There we have it. Now you're just going to start working it back and forth. You take it to the edge. Bring that down. Get it all covered. There we go. Like I said, leave a little in the bowl for the kids, or your husband, or your wife. Then you take the leftovers, and then you're just going to sprinkle that on. Like I said, it's going to go 350, about a half an hour. Now, don't worry. If it comes out a little dark, there we go. 350, about a half an hour. Knife or toothpick in the center will uh, come out clean when it's ready. And there you have it. That's my mom's uh, sour cream breakfast coffee cake. Enjoy.